Oh, well, hello there. Welcome to Ghost Writer. My name is Johnny, and in life I was a great writer. I was going to be the best, but then, with my untimely death, the details of which I don't really want to discuss in a YouTube video, that dream can no longer come true. So, I'm passing all of my lifetime of knowledge onto you. This is Ghost Rider. He's somewhere in between a ghost and zombie. Died from emphysema. But that's our Johnny. <laughs> that's our Johnny. This week, we're going to be discussing how to train your dragon, and more specifically, how this movie perfectly embodies the hero's journey. If you're not aware, or if you've been living under a rock, the hero's journey is like a template in storytelling. It was first conceived by American professor Joseph Campbell in the mid-20th century, but can be seen all throughout Western mythology. Pretty much, the hero starts off in a place of relative comfort. Key word, relative. Life's not great. Suddenly, they're called to adventure by circumstance, destiny, or even a mystical guide. The hero then embarks on a quest which takes them to dangerous, uncharted territory. Here, they're faced with various obstacles and challenges. They'll gain companions and mentors, be dealt a crushing blow and fall into a pit of despair, but they'll emerge from this experience, transformed or reborn. After this, they must face their greatest challenge of all, a wicked foe or seemingly insurmountable task that they must overcome. They'll succeed only by putting all of the learning they've done so far to the test. Our hero will have to lose something they care about deeply to be victorious, but will return from battle a more wise and complete version of themselves. And thus, the cycle repeats. Now, let's see how the hero's journey lines up with How to Train Your Dragon, shall we? Hiccup, the protagonist of the story, is kept out of harm's way by his father, Stoic the Vast, because he seemed to be too weak and helpless to fend for himself. Even Hiccup's name tells us that he's an outcast a glitch in the system that doesn't comport with the society he lives in. Hiccup, however, longs to be accepted by his tribe and by his love interest, Astrid. He's called to adventure when dragons raid his village and even manages to shoot down a night fury, Toothless, whose name implies that he's in fact harmless. Hiccup then goes on a quest to find the dragon and kill it to prove himself, but he can't bring himself to do it. He finds out that in shooting down the dragon, he's inadvertently ripped off one of its tail fins. In order for the dragon to survive, he must train it. Along his way, he befriends Astrid, in a sequence that alone makes this whole movie worth making. Then Hiccup reaches his low point when he loses Toothless and the acceptance of his tribe and father. But from the ashes, Hiccup rises anew, putting into practice everything he's learned so far not so fireproof on the inside, are you? And saves the day. Thus, gaining his father's approval and the respect and adulation of his tribe. All we needed was a little more of this. And despite losing his leg, symmetrically making him and Toothless reliant on one another, Hiccup has returned to the start of the circle, a more wise and complete version of himself. I just chose this movie as one example, but there are literally bazillions of stories and myths that follow this precise formula. Why not try it out in your own writing? Couldn't hurt. And now, before we go, over to the Fun Facts Corner with Jimmy. Fun Facts, Fun Facts, grab your drink and snacks, it's Fun Facts! Thank you, Johnny. Jimmy here, bringing you all your Fun Facts for the week. Fun Fact number one. In the scene where the dragons are hauling in their kill, one of the animals you can see in the background is actually Gloria the hippo from Madagascar. This has been confirmed in the DVD commentary. Fun fact number two. In the original book, Toothless is actually small and green. In the movies, his appearance is modeled off of a cat. And fun fact number three. At the beginning of the movie, when the DreamWorks logo comes on screen, Toothless can be seen soaring through the night sky in the background. Bet you missed that one. Well, uh, that's it. <clears throat> Well, that's it for us here at Ghost Rider. 
please like and subscribe and until next time may death never stop you well can you hear king solomon we've been for the loss of a haunted man such sense of loss kind of makes me wonder why so throw your hands up in the sky Hi, cause we are bringing johnny back to life